want to sweat and feel like a really good sweat from your workouts, or from cardio at least, I just finished up uh, 30 minutes fast in the morning. That's what I have to do every morning. Go on the stairs, man. And also, try this shit right here. Try this. It's a fat burner. I use this every single day. It's called uh, Yo Himbine HCL from uh, from Huge. I sweat like a goddamn pig, man. It's absolutely insane. But it makes you focus too. It's, there's like caffeine mixed with the Yo Himbine in here. Is that how I say it? Yo Himbine? I don't know. Shirt is drenched. update six and a half weeks though six and a half six weeks and like four days something like that i'm gonna get into this full day meeting for you guys show you everything i'm eating right now uh i want to show you guys this quick before i go to starbucks which is right there i don't know if you guys can see that right there okay also i don't have my mic on so if this sounds like shit i'm sorry the mla's new drop is today which is at uh, 12 p.m pst 3 p.m. EST or 1 p.m. EST, which is my time. But um, these shirts, this one's absolutely drenched. So this is the beater drop, like I mentioned in the last video. All of these shirts with like the young LA down the down the spine there. This thing's soaked. And we have all the beaters. So we got like, I'll put one on for you guys here, but we got the brown. They're actually called wife lovers, not wife beaters. I don't think it'd be good uh, marketing if they put wife beaters and being on. We got the white, which is obviously everyone's favorite. Should have brought my baby blue one because that one's my favorite color besides this black. I'm sure you guys kind of how this fits here. So this is a perfect fitting tank top, if I'm being honest. Like fit perfect, just like young LA on the back there. And also we got these uh, new shorts. I'm not sure what they're called. They're like travel something, but they're sick. They're just like pretty slick. You have the new pump cover, no cuff, no cuff joggers here. This is what they look like. I probably have to go all the way back here, but they're, they're sick. Like this is the fit, baggy, but then like a tank. So anyways, I'm gonna go to Starbucks, get a call, and uh, get on with this full day beating for you guys. So if you do wanna pick up anything from this, toe turb. Are you rolling? Always. <laughs> All right, so I follow a meal plan. I don't really follow calories, but I'm going to add up everything for you guys today. I'm gonna to put all of my meals into my fitness pal. Specifically my coach, he doesn't do like macros and calories. I just add that up myself. And then um, I add everything up myself in terms of my fitness pal. So I'm gonna follow everything meal by meal. I'll show you guys literally everything I eat today. I'm eating six meals today. First meal, we have creamer rice. This is like the Technically, I can have my meals, I can move meals around depending on when I want to have it, but my pre and my post workout meal is the exact same every single day. And then, like this meal is technically meal number three, but I like having this in the morning right after fasted cardio. So I'm going to make this right now. Is this clean? If you guys don't have a scale, I would highly recommend getting a scale. It's like literally the only way to know how much all of your shit weighs. Like if you have a pretty good eye, then you can just eyeball everything. But for example, cream of rice or like oats, I don't know how you're gonna eyeball this. Like it's just so thin in terms of like the, I guess cream of rice, I don't even know, but I get 45 grams cream of rice. Also when I was talking about posing in that room, that lighting was like kind of shit, right? This lighting, down light. No food, no pump, by the way. Way better, hey? How's that? How's that light? So much better, hey? <laughs> so much better. That's what I mean, guys. Don't get so consumed what you see like on social media and shit because like those guys, even me, for an example, I post all my stuff in good lighting, you know, a pump and all that shit. But this morning posing, that was like flat, post cardio, no food, no anything, so. Abs are coming in again. Ugh, again. 
<laughs> Dude, I was fat before, man. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do 45 grams cream of rice. I'm gonna do two whole eggs and just a little bit of egg whites. Technically, coach, if you're watching this, I know I'm not supposed to have egg whites with the first meal. If anything, I add like 100 grams, which would be like, I think 50 calories. So I just take off 50 calories from chicken in like one of my later meals. So we also got a uh, scoop of protein in there and like berries, so. So we got two whole eggs and we'll put a little bit of egg whites in there. I don't use oil or any butters. You guys already know that because it's just added calories that you don't need. And pick this goat up from the fucking superstore the other day. Look at that. Sugar free, okay. I don't know if this is just a hoax or if this is true. Zero calorie maple syrup. Zero calories. I've been abusing this and I put it on basically every single meal. So I'm gonna whip this up and then show you guys the final product and calories and shit. Woo. So I was making the cream of rice and uh, I think I left it in too long. Fuck sakes, man. Cleaned up the mess. We put one uh, scoop, actually only like 25 grams of um, huge whey chocolate peanut butter. Probably the best flavor to put in like any oats or cream of rice or stuff like that. So all I'm gonna do now is, oh, actually I'm gonna throw in some cinnamon. Cinnamon actually makes you digest your food better, I believe. Now I'm just going to mix this all up. I'm gonna obviously mix that better. Then we're gonna put in 20, I'm sorry, 50 grams of blueberries. Yeah, pretty simple. This right here is probably around maybe 300 calories, maybe. I don't use a full scoop of this because a full scoop is like 38 grams, I think. I only really use 25, 25 grams of this. So um, code turbo on this if you guys wanna pick up that. But then, like I mentioned with the syrup, I'm gonna put this onto my eggs here. I don't track this because it's zero calorie. Like there's literally nothing in here. I hope this is the labels right, but I put a little, nothing crazy, just like that. All right guys, so this is the final product of meal number one right here. Meal one of probably six. So again, I have two whole eggs, and just a little bit of egg whites, like nothing crazy. Salt and pepper, of course. I probably put salt and pepper on all my meals, nothing crazy. I don't really watch my sodium intake, but I just make sure not to have like a stupid amount. So um, yeah, then we got 45 grams of cream of rice, one scoop of protein or like 25 grams and 50 grams of blueberries and also some cinnamon. So this meal right here, for meal number one, we are looking at, uh, da, 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 da. we are looking at just over 500 calories. So 511 calories, which is like 55-ish grams of protein, 44 carb and 11 fat. So this is gonna be my biggest meal of the day for sure. And then all my other meals are pretty tiny. So I'm gonna eat this, uh, do some work, and then I will catch up back with you guys with uh, my next meal. All right, so we just hopped out of the shower. I was still absolutely drenched from cardio this morning. The stairs, I'm telling you, just get to like no other in terms of like burning so many calories in one session and just battling through the entire thing. But now I got my pre-workout meal. All we got is 160 grams of chicken, 
Uh, we got 125 grams of just regular rice or white rice, jasmine rice, basmati, doesn't really matter. Then we got some sugar-free sauce on there as well with salt and pepper. So this is gonna be my third meal of the day with carbs and then my post-workout meal is also gonna be with carbs as well. So yeah, then the, the last three meals of the day are without carbs, unfortunately, but you gotta do what you gotta do if you wanna get absolutely shredded. So I'm gonna devour this and we're gonna head to the gym, hit a leg workout. I'm probably gonna do a voiceover for that. I was gonna do it in the last video, but that video was just too long. So I'm gonna throw it in this one. That is the final product right there. Nothing crazy, pretty bland, but if I get carbs with a meal right now, I am a happy man. So I'm gonna eat this and I'll catch you guys at the gym. Calories are 346. Uh, the protein is 35, and then I have, I think that's like 35 carb. Yeah, 35 grams carb. Basically zero grams of fat, or like three from the chicken, so. That took me probably two minutes to eat that. So with my leg days, it's so hard nowadays to actually push heavy weight, especially when I'm doing like a squat or like a deadlift. So for the most part, I stick with like hack squats when I'm doing like anything quad focused. And then for deadlifts, I will probably do like a Romanian deadlift, but I'm trying to push as heavy as I possibly can and still do, you know, three by six to eight or like four by six to eight, something like that. So that I'm still like getting those heavy movements in, but Again, it's so hard to do that. So I typically just work up to like a big top set, like I'm showing here. Uh, I work up to, I think eight reps of, what is that? Seven or eight plates on the hack squat. It's, actually, it's not that hard, but when you do this double drop set, which I do at the very end here, basically just to go to like complete failure, it's so challenging. Like if anything during prep, it's more like mentally challenging, but obviously anything to do with working out is mentally challenging. So I'm not like bitching about it, but um, yeah, basically went like eight till failure, and then eight till failure, and then I'm not sure how much I got on that last set, but that was like four sets there. And then I went right into uh, more of like a hamstring focus. So I like this machine because you can just load up the weight. It's not too taxing, especially when I'm on prep. Like honestly, I just want to be in and be out of the gym. Like cardio and my diet already drains me. So if I can just be in and be out and, you know, still focus on like the muscle being contracted and shit like that, that's all I really care about. And honestly, just finishing my workouts in like a good intensity with a good intensity, sorry. Um, so for the most part, whenever I'm doing any sort of leg exercise, I think of posing on stage. So I actually, I actually saw that from uh, Kyle Wilkes. That's like James English's coach and like Anthony Mantello and those guys. Um, he said like, think of like when you're doing like, for example, leg extension, like I'm showing right now, like doing like a quad stomp and like flexing your entire quad. So that actually helps so much when I'm, when I'm doing that type of shit. So on that, I just did a superset, both of those for three sets of 12 to 15 each, um, each leg. And then I went right into Romanian deadlifts here. Again, I like to do this over like a, anything you know completely deadlift focused because i can still load up the weight and it just feels better on my hamstring so i worked up to two heavy top sets of 10 reps um nothing too crazy and then i'm pretty sure i did a drop set on that one too um and then i'm just finishing up with line hamstring curl again like three to four uh sets i think i did four sets 12 reps and then don't forget your calves so i did uh calves three by 12 so yeah that's the workout guys all right so i'm currently editing this video that you guys are watching right now, but I had to eat another meal post-workout immediately. So we got 160 grams of chicken, and then 100 grams of just jasmine rice or white rice, and it's gonna be my last carb meal of the day, unfortunately. I'm gonna finish editing this video. I'm gonna eat this, and then we got like three more meals to go. So calories up on the screen, right there. Should be like 300-ish. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Is that green light on? We are about to eat meal number four. Uh, we have three meals more left in my day. 
and I have no carbs left for the rest of the day. That's fantastic. I'm so tired. This is this is the point of the day where it's just like I just want to eat all my meals, go to bed because I I can't even enjoy my meals anymore. They're just so bland and plain. But I get fucking shredded, and I need shredded glutes. So gotta do what you gotta do. So this right here is actually not a part of the meal, like celery and shit. But this right here is probably only 10 calories, maybe, maybe. Like that's all water, basically all water. So I'm gonna snack on this. And in this meal, the actual meal, we have technically 160 grams of steak, but my steak right here, I actually picked it up for a steal. 18 bucks for 1.4 kg. I have to make this right now. I get steak twice a day right now. Uh, with this meal and my last meal of the day, but technically this was supposed to be this meal, but I didn't make it and I need to eat right now. So I'm gonna have that later. So instead we're gonna have uh, ground bison for this meal. So I get 160 grams. I'm gonna weigh this. Just like so. So it's supposed to be 160 grams of steak with 100 grams of asparagus. But I don't have asparagus either, so I'm just gonna have romaine lettuce. Basically, both are green leafy vegetables, so I don't really think it's that big of a deal. I'm gonna warm this up pretty plain. I'm gonna put the lettuce in there, probably use some. This might seem gross, but it tastes so much better with it. I'm gonna put maple syrup, uh, then salt and pepper, and we're gonna look at how many calories it's going to be. For this meal, <laughs> we're looking at 290 calories. Fantastic. With uh, 35 grams of protein, zero carb, and uh, 15 grams of fat. So I would make it and show you guys, but it literally looks like this, but warmed up and then uh, with lettuce. So if you can picture that in your brain, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna do some more work, eat this uh, celery as well. Hopefully fill my body up. And I'll see you guys at meal number five. Two more. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do to get shredded. Mm. Celery is so good, man. Tastes like a donut. Fuck me, man. Six and a half more weeks. Then I'm gonna do the 30,000 calorie challenge. <laughs> Could you imagine? I might do the 25K. Comment down below, guys, if you want me to do that. Even though the 20K was probably the worst day of my entire life, I would suffer again for you guys. At least this time, it's not gonna be 18 weeks for, a, for one day of a show. It's gonna be one day of hell, though. <laughs> Alright guys, so oh, this is the last meal of the day right here. Okay, so technically, coach, if you're watching this, I apologize. I know I'm supposed to have two meals, but it's already 11 o'clock and I'm not eating right now than eating at one o'clock because typically I should have these meals like an hour apart, or sorry, two hours apart, but I want to go to bed. So I just got out of the hot tub. I have like a hot tub and steam at my apartment. So my apologies if I look like shit, but keeping it real with you guys for the last meal of the day. So I was supposed to have uh, 120 grams of chicken for another meal. This should be 160, but remember I put egg whites in my first meal, like a little bit. So I just took some off to kind of like even out the protein and calories for the day. And then that was basically it for that meal, plus asparagus for my last meal, meal number six. I was supposed to have 175 grams of steak and asparagus as well. So instead, I'm having 120 grams of chicken in here, still 175 grams of steak as well. But instead of the asparagus, I just cut up uh, romaine lettuce because again, I don't have asparagus. I forgot to pick it up. Also supersetting that with my second mug of the day, diet root beer, the goat of all the diet drinks. These things saved my life. It's a diet hack, trust me. I'll show you guys the calories right here because I can't even say it because it's so shocking. 1,939 calories. 
1,935 calories, 39 calories, sorry. That's that's crazy. And I know a lot of people, there's gonna be a lot of you who are like, oh, Brett, that's so low to be having six and a half weeks out. Like, yes, I know, that's a very low amount to be having, especially as a natural, but I need to have striated glutes and hamstrings. And the only way to do that is to be in a crazy deficit for an extended period of time. So unfortunately, I gotta suffer for a bit. And if anything, I would like to be ready earlier than later, right? Yeah, that's 245 grams of protein, 150 15 grams of carbs, which is crazy, and 53 grams of fat. It, te it technically should be 50 grams of fat and just a little bit more protein, but I used the bison instead of the steak in my last meal. So, steak's a little well done. It's uh, not what I want it to be. That's all right. So all she wrote, wash it down with some mug. That's it. Anyways, guys, that was six meals. Well, technically five, six and a half weeks out for my first ever natural, natural bodybuilding competition. Doesn't feel real if I'm being honest to say that, but maybe we make this a thing. Maybe if I do well, when I do well, when I do well, hasn't really hit me. I, I want to do a full video talking about it and you know, like the harsh reality of prep and getting through and everything, but maybe I'll save that for another time because I can get really deep into that shit because it's crazy what my mind thinks on a daily basis right now. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget about the Young LA drop that is today, the beater drop. Code Turp, if you guys pick up anything on that, it'll save you 15% off and it supports the channel and it supports me, so I appreciate it. But thank you guys for watching. Sub, like, all that good shit, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you, peace out.